In today's video, we are going to show you how by using just milk and some delicious chocolate powder, how the earth went from one giant landmass 250 million years ago to how it looks today. And this same demonstration can also show you how, why, and where on the planet earthquakes occur. The earth is four and a half billion years old. Give or take 50 million years. And scientists have different theories about what the earth looked like at the beginning. But the generally accepted theory is about 250 million years ago, all the continents were together in one giant landmass called Pangaea. Pangaea is a Greek term which means all land. About 200 million years ago, Pangaea began to break apart, and we are going to demonstrate that by using a kitchen oven, milk, and some chocolate. It's time for some science. In a previous video on our channel, we discussed the layers of the earth and did a demonstration of how you can recreate them in your home with your kids. Today we're going to focus on the outermost layer of the earth, which is the crust. We're actually going to make a di We're actually going to make a different model of the crust today and show you how the heat from the inner layers of the earth caused Pangaea to break apart so long ago. To understand how this happened, we need to understand that the Earth's outermost layer is divided into sections called tectonic plates, and how the continued constant movement, or continental drift, continues today, which ultimately is the cause of how our continents are located where they are, and partially responsible for how earthquakes and volcanoes form and occur when they do. As we mentioned, for this we're going to need just two ingredients, chocolate powder and some milk. And as an aside, I found it interesting that when I went to the supermarket to purchase the chocolate powder, on the same aisle as the baking ingredients were the diabetic supplies. Coincidence? Probably not. I digress. Any kind of chocolate powder will work. As you can see, they had several different price ranges for chocolate powder. Anyway, you can get the really nice chocolate powder, the moderately priced chocolate powder, or the cheap stuff. Daddy, you I thought you said you were going to get the best chocolate money could buy. Maybe one day if we have more subscribers, we'll be able to afford the good stuff. Once you're ready to start the experiment, grab your large pan and place it on the counter or your stovetop. Get your milk from the refrigerator and you're going to pour enough milk into the frying pan to cover the bottom and then a little bit more. For the next step, all you're going to have to do is add your chocolate powder on top of the milk. The exact amount of chocolate powder isn't terribly important, but you're going to want to put a pretty thick layer because if you don't put enough, ultimately all you're going to end up making is some hot chocolate and while delicious, doesn't really illustrate the point we're trying to make. So to give you an example, there's eight ounces of chocolate powder in this can that we used here. And for each demonstration, we ended up using three cans. 24 ounces of chocolate powder worked just fine for us. One key step here is to really spend a moment or two flattening out the chocolate powder as much as possible, or else there's really no point in the experiment because the cracks are already there. Carefully take it over to the oven and turn on the heat. And what we have here is a pretty good representation of how the Earth's crust is exposed to heat below it. The Earth's core is many thousands of degrees Fahrenheit, and it's that heat that many scientists believe is responsible for creating the tectonic plates and ultimately breaking up Pangaea to, to form the continents that we have today. And while that process actually took hundreds of millions of years to occur, recreating the process in the kitchen is only going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. The increasing heat and pressure created by the inner layers of the Earth, represented in our demonstration by the oven and the milk beneath the chocolate powder, will begin to form cracks in our crust. These cracks in the crust will ultimately come together to form tiny plates just like what occurred on Earth hundreds of millions of years ago. And these individual plates, geologists call tectonic plates. The continued heat from the Earth caused and continues to cause the plates to move. And over the course of time, Earth went from one giant landmass to many different continents located on top of these tectonic plates that continue to move today. You can see how the plates rub together in our demonstration here. That's the same thing that actually happens on our planet, and it's that rubbing together that's also responsible for creating earthquakes. And depending on how your cracks form, you can also use this demonstration as an excellent visualization as to how volcanoes form and erupt. The pressure from the magma beneath the crust builds up until it finally breaks through forming a volcanic explosion, and probably killing a few dinosaurs in the process. This is a very simple and effective demonstration to help visualize how the Earth's crust is divided into individual tectonic plates. And it's the movement of those plates that creates an active role in the creation of Earth's current landscape. If you homeschool or are involved in education in any way, we will have an accompanying worksheet to go along with this video on our website posted pretty soon. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> I thought you said you were going to get the best chocolate money could buy. <laughs> you are going to get the best chocolate money could buy. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you said you were going to get the best m chocolate money could buy. <laughs>
All right. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta start over.